Good morning, guys. It is 6 a.m. on the day of my Gina curl, and we are about to leave in a little bit to make the drive to Harris Talent. I am so excited, so come with me. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get started. Let me just start by saying happy first annual Gina Curl Day. My husband and I woke up at the booty break of dawn to make the three hour drive to East Haven, Connecticut to start my Gina Curl journey. And I could not be happier to have you along for the ride. I am gonna take you with me from start to finish. And at the end of this video, there's gonna be a super informative debrief about the entire process and everything that happened so stick around and let's have a whole lot of fun do you guys see the grin on my face aside from being the product of two years worth of braces it is the manifestation of the joy of a 30 something old woman who is so ready for a new era so I am now sitting outside of Harris talent um, apologies if you can't hear me very well I am being safe but I'm sitting outside of Harris Talent. We got to Connecticut a little bit ago. I think they're trying to do some social distancing inside. So I'm just gonna wait outside a little bit until it's closer to my appointment. All right, here we are. Harris Talent, home of the Gina Curl. Let's go inside. I just had to show you, look at these lovely ladies at the top of the stairwell. Ah, so beautiful. So the salon was really nice, y'all. As a germaphobe, I don't do dirt or disorder, and so I was very pleasantly surprised. So we started the process with them washing and conditioning my hair. Very tenderly, I might add. Y'all know I was worried about that. Here is a before pic for your viewing pleasure. Funny story, one of Miss Gina's stylists is the first person to ever actually make me realize my hair was brown. Way to make me question everything I believe to be true. So next they apply the chemical, kind of like you do a relaxer. So here it is kind of marinating. You can kind of see my curls uh, slowly dying. But this is the first time I've seen my hair straight in a long time. And I had some hang time. I'm not gonna lie, like I had some hang time time maybe my natural hair journey was not as unsuccessful as i thought so after washing the chemical out they roll your hair up in these little perm rods and i'm actually just realizing as i watch this that there are actually two different colors in there i thought i just had pink but it looks like i have pink in this little peachy color okay and then you sit under the dryer for <laughs> whoo you sit under the dryer until every last single strand on your head is completely devoid of any moisture. For me, that was about three hours. After that, before taking the rods out, they soak your hair in this neutralizer solution. I don't really know what's in it, but honestly, if it gets me where I need to be, that's okay. Spray away. By the way, during that process, you get this cool little apron looking Marie Antoinette kind of neck guard thing so you don't get too wet which is really really nice after that neutralizer has been in your head for a few minutes then they take out your rollers and you're left with these shirley temple super popping eighth grade prom curls that are really cute but no self-respecting adult's gonna wear them out like that so do you guys remember getting ready for the middle school dance and you're sitting in the hairdresser's chair and they're taking out these rollers and you had these super extra doing too much curls but you looked at yourself in the mirror and you thought the world isn't ready for such beauty i am First of all, what were we actually thinking? And second of all, these curls kind of remind me of that. So now it's to the sink for a quick rinse as we are coming down the home stretch. And finally, we are at the styling step. I just decided to switch up my camera work a little bit, trying to keep the creative juices flowing, trying to keep it fresh and real, give you a new perspective. Okay, I can't lie to you guys, I got confused it, it was a mirror and it was the phone and it was just the uh, it was a lot going on and I yeah I got confused but fortunately you can still see what's going on as they style my hair yes look at your girl that looks cute come on come on guys so it's still wet so before you cry jerry curl wait till you see it when it's dry so that was my Gina Curl experience. And here I am four days later, and this is what it looks like. 
I am super excited by the results. I absolutely love them. It could not be closer to what I envisioned and what I wanted. I am so, so satisfied. All in all, the process took eight hours. It felt like eight hours. It it went by slowly. I'm not gonna lie about that. It went by slowly. Three of those hours, as I said, were under the dryer. I watched a lot of One Tree Hill. I looked at a lot of Instagram, but I got through it. Everybody at Hair's Talent was really super nice and interactive. Machina has a lot of assistant stylists who do most of the process, washing, putting the chemical in, monitoring for when the chemical's done, rinsing it out, putting the curl rods in, pretty much most of the process. At one point, I, I have to say I was a little concerned. I was like, well, is Miss Gina actually gonna like work on my hair? But those concerns were alleviated. She was supervising the whole thing. She does actually do your hair one-on-one -on -one for the most important parts. She was the one who picked the curl rod size after I showed her what pictures I liked, what kind of size I was going for. And she's the one who at the end does the big reveal, cuts your hair, styles it, and does the whole finish. I told her to cut whatever she needed. I said, uh, you know what, you do you. Normally I don't do that with stylists because people get sister happy, you know, you know. But I trusted her and I was done holding on to these dead ends that I've had for years. Like I wanted this to be a new healthy hair journey just moving forward. So I told her I gave her liberty to cut whatever she needed to. This is the shortest my hair has been in a while. It's probably like right here right now and I was coming from bra strap length, but I'm I'm okay with it. I'm excited to finally have hair on my head that is just healthy hair and not damaged, broken, splitting ends. I'm gonna tell you guys that I was a little bit worried for the big reveal and I think Machina could tell. So when they take your hair out of the rollers after having put the neutralizer chemical in there, it looks really curly, really like ringlety, like Shirley Temple curly. And then they rinse it so the curls stretch and they're wet and they're just not like the curls that they just were. And so when she, when they rinsed it and I went back to the chair, it was like, it looked like waves, like, and minimal waves at that. Like I was like, oh my God, what did I just do? And then she started like putting the curl cream on, scrunching, diffusing, and then this beautiful set of curls began to emerge and I was like, not only like, okay, but I was like, <laughs> but she was like, yeah, everybody worries that it looks like a jerry curl when it's wet before it's styled. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's, yeah, I was worried too. I was worried too, but I have no regrets. So the first three days, there are some restrictions to what you can do. There's still an oxidation process that is setting your curl pattern during that first three days. So you can't act normally with your hair. You're really trying to maintain that curl pattern so that it sets correctly. You can't do anything that puts pressure or tension on your hair and that alters the curl pattern. So that includes putting your hair up in a ponytail. You can't put your hair back with a headband. You can't tie it up at night. And you can't do any regular kind of wash day things. You can't shampoo it, you can't do the full normal wash that you would do with it. So that was okay. The first three days I was just kind of wetting it at the end of the shower, putting two pumps of leave-in on either side, two pumps of curl cream on either side, and it was looking fine. And honestly, that's what I'm gonna do most days. That process, once I got out of the shower, takes a maximum of like four minutes no lie and then you just go about your day and air dry it so my first real wash day was on day three which was yesterday so i shampooed twice i put some conditioner in combed my hair with a white tooth comb left the conditioner on for five minutes rinsed it out got out of the shower put two pumps of leave-in on either side and then i actually shingled my hair with the curl cream yesterday just to kind of see what it was like it took a little bit longer than the you know just two pumps on either side but maximum like start to finish for my wash day routine yesterday was 20 minutes like 20 minutes before I was ready to like air dry it and get dressed and go about my business. So I, <laughs> I am so pumped. I am so pumped for what the rest of this is gonna look like. I'm so pumped for the transformation that this has already had in my life. The last three days have been amazing. I will keep you posted on any developments, any, you know, if there are changes to the curl pattern, if any breakage emerges, which is one of the things that I was concerned about. So guys, please ask any questions that you may have in the comments. And I'll probably do a frequently asked questions video to answer any questions that you guys may have. So if you're thinking about it, you can feel more comfortable going into it. Or you can decide that it's 
it's not for you. So thank you for joining me on my Gina Curl journey experience. It's been amazing. I hope that these videos have helped you. Please stay tuned for my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, please, 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 don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, thanks for joining me.